Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord, uh, for the worship team. It's good to see you all. And uh, God is good all the time. Good. Now, before I make the announcement, uh, actually today is not my turn yet, but uh, one of my brother is not free, so I'll be uh, taking chance today. And uh, I would like to read the uh, portion of scripture from Psalm 23. If you have the Bibles, uh, you may turn. I can wait for you. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside the still water. He restore my soul. He led me, me in the path of the righteous for his name's sake. Yeah, I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff is comfort me. Though you prepare a table before me in front of my enemy, and you anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and follow you all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Okay, now uh, the usher get ready. I want to pray for the offering. Please uh, take your offering. Let's uh, God bless your offering. Ready? Father in heaven, in your name of Jesus. Father, this morning is a privilege to gather together here today. Lord, we want to give thanks to you. We want to give glory back to you. We want to give you praise. We want to give you honor. Father, as you have given us all we need, we shall not lack. Father, we thank you for everything we've done in our life, for everything we do and we have, it belongs to you. Today, we want to give you back what is supposed to be given to you. Let us put our heart and uh, give it cheerfully, not grudgingly. Give what you have. Use this uh, tight offering to extension of your kingdom and help those who are in need. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the church uh, of SLA, brother, sister in Christ. And we also welcome our pastor today, Pastor Eddie and wife, and uh, those. Uh, uh, I believe there's a one person is new. We would like to invite you to stand so we can welcome you, Michael Lim. Can you stand? We want to welcome you. Good to see you here today. Make sure you come next week. Okay, now I just want to make it fast and uh, simple. I uh, want to make the announcement. The Myanmar service for every Monday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you're interested, you can speak Myanmar. Please contact Pastor Joshua Asan. Chinese Bible study uh, will conduct by Pastor Dr. Philip Kwan on every Tuesday, 8 p.m. via Zoom. A combined prayer meeting. Every Wednesday, time 8 p.m. at the uh, church physical meeting. Uh, English Bible study with Pastor Samuel Wong every Thursday, 8 p.m. via Zoom. Please uh, log on and uh, be blessed by the Word of God. Sunday prayer encounter via Zoom every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Morning devotion at KMC every Monday to Saturday, time 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m at Kwan Specialist Medical Center. Every Thursday, we have a house of prayer, 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The venue at Church Sanctuary, uh, you may contact Pastor Effendi. Evangelism and social welfare. Yeah, this is to bring the gospel to our community by assisting those in general need and 
provide material support and spiritual help. If you have someone or if you have such need, please contact Brother Tony and Johnny Lau. The number is there. A special announcement, Abdulam Care Centre. It's a nursing home that cares and looks after the aged and the sick. And we're also reaching out and sharing the gospel to them. Please pray for this uh, uh, Abdulam K because it's under Love and Care Ministry, SLA, Love and Care Ministry. Life group. If you have a life group, separate in Chinese and English. If you wish to know which group you should join, please contact Sister Li Ling. Hydroponic farm. These are the farm that uh, plant the uh, pesticide-free hydroponic vegetable. If you see some, there's vegetable you can buy from them. Okay? Guitar and drum keyboard lesson. If you those are interested to learn guitar, learn to play guitar, drum and keyboard in church, please contact Sister Denise, the, our worship leader. Worship encounter with Global Worship. Uh, there will be an uh, event held at the Sanctuary of God Church on the 14th of June, Sunday, 14th of June, 2023, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Do join us. Now, we have a concurrent woman fellowship and men fellowship. I think this is the uh, first time the woman fellowship and men fellowship will be held concurrently on the 11th of June, 2023, Saturday at 1 p.m at KMC, launch at first floor. I think there will be a lunch break that will separate in two groups. Please come and join us. Tithes and offering. For those who uh, have not been uh, able to attend the physical uh, church service, you may contribute your tithe offering via online to the OCBC Bank account 7401147. So for today, now we would like to join hand together in white pastor Eddie Yong to give his sermon. Welcome. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, uh, the worship was so good. I want to thank uh, Sister Denise and the team. Because uh, Psalms 22 verse 3 says, God inhabits in the praises of His people. And uh, you know that Matthew 18, 20 says very clearly <clears throat> that uh, when two or three gather in His name, His presence will be with us. Let's keep our hands to our Lord Jesus Christ for being with us this morning. And I believe in all the congregations, the whole, whole world, in all the churches, He is with us. Amen. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, it's so good to be back here again. And I want to thank uh, Dr. Kwan and Sister Li Ling for inviting me and my wife here. And uh, <clears throat> you, you notice that I've seen quite a few familiar pra uh, faces, right? And uh, you know, when I see your, your program, uh, so much prayer involved, you know? And, and it's awesome. Because you know why? I, I just came back from Manila yesterday. And... Uh, my wife Irene also came back from overseas, you know. So, the thing is that I was in this church called <clears throat> the Journey Church. I want to share a testimony with you. The church, uh, <clears throat> this pastor, he started very young. And uh, I think now he's in the early 40s, something like that. Late 40s, uh, yeah. So, he shared with me a testimony. <clears throat> so, when he started the church, uh, the church name is, <coughs> uh, it was not the Journey Church, <coughs> it was another name. And so the, they, they bought, they didn't buy, they rent a place. <coughs> they rent a place, <coughs> they got no money to pay the rent. It's about, maybe about 70 old people. No money to pay the rent. And then the board, the board told the pastor, you haven't prayed enough. That's why, <coughs> that's why not, no, not much members, not enough tithing. That until three months, the, the owner want to take back, want to take back the the premises, you know. <clears throat> but he has been praying, he has been praying. Let me share with you this. Uh. Then that year, this is about thirty years ago. 
<coughs> I'm sure you know who is Benny Hinn, right? <coughs> Benny Hinn <coughs> okay, do a evangelistic uh, <coughs> meeting in, in Manila. So he went to the meeting. You know, he cannot even see Benny Hinn. So small only in the stage, right? No one can <coughs> grow near him, go to see Benny Hinn for prayer, right? <coughs> but of course, the pastor stand in the pulpit, be it Benny Hinn or whoever, stand in the pulpit, we are representing God. Amen? And all, <clears throat> and all the resources, the heavenly resources, the, the heavenly armies of angels will stand by us and will fulfill His word. <clears throat> okay? So, he just received the word. He cannot go in front and receive the word. <clears throat> then went back. But amazingly, one of the security, security taking care of the meeting for Benny Hinn, is a member of his church. <clears throat> Any big size fellow here? Uh, big, bigger size than <laughs> maybe double our size, you know. <clears throat> and uh, Benny Hinn likes like the security guy and asks him to <clears throat> uh, follow him go and work in in US. So he's very happy, right? Went back and tell the mom. The mom is so happy until she got a heart attack. My goodness, <clears throat> correct? No? Got a heart attack and uh, the security. Asked security man asked Benny Hinn to pray for uh, his mom, and he obliged. You know because he feels so bad. You know he obliged and prayed, and then he says, "Can you pray for my pastor?" So Benny Hinn went and prayed for the pastor, and then suddenly he asked, "Is anything I can do for you?" He's so overwhelmed already, huh? The pastor so overwhelmed that <clears throat> Benny Hinn came to his church, a small church of 70 people, and pray for him. Right? Oh, he says nothing. Uh, it's okay. I, you know, it's such a privilege that he prayed for him. Suddenly, the Lord spoke to him. The Holy Spirit, rental. See, that's why you need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit to hear the word of God, to hear his voice, you see. <clears throat> so he heard the word rental. So he asked. Uh, he said, uh, Pastor Benny, actually there's something, you know, that he, he tell, the, tell the whole situation that he cannot pay the rental three months and the owners take back the premises. Okay. <clears throat> then, let's say now, if you've got some issue, uh, huh? some issue in your life and you really need a financial breakthrough, you need this money just enough for this situation. Right? Maybe... <clears throat> Someone is sick, need to go to see the hospital. Maybe you need about maybe 10K. Huh? And some Samaritan or the church members gather together. Because a church is a family, huh? gather together to, to meet your need. <clears throat> right? Let's say, uh, say 10,000, one person is more than enough to settle the issue. Right? Because the church is a family. Right? Okay. <clears throat> are, you be, are you happy? Huh? You're glad, right? Someone supported you. And uh, because the Bible says that uh, if there's anything that can you, you can do for your fellow brother and sister, if you don't do it, if you are able, you know the word here is if you are able, and if you don't do it, if anything happened to the person, his blood is on your hands. Right? Remember that, right? And I remember, okay, Galatians <coughs> 6 9 says that. Uh, that we must always uh, not give up and do good, you know. You know do good means uh, if anyone that you can do good to, you, you do good. Even how difficult, never mind. At the right time, you will receive a harvest. Galatians 6, 9 is like that. <clears throat> but Galatians 6, 10 says what? We must always do good to our family, our brothers and sisters in the kingdom of Christ. It says that, you know, 6, 10. What more you need to do more for our own brothers and sisters in Christ? Amen. Can I allow amen? amen. <laughs> it's a bit difficult sometimes when you are, but always remember the 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 lady who uh, called it, uh, when he met Jesus. His pennies uh, left two pennies so give everything right, and how Jesus say uh, about about this lady right. So okay, so you are definitely happy that your need is met right. <coughs> so. Benny Hinn asked the pastor, uh, actually, how much do you need? You know? Oh, say about that time, <clears throat> 30,000 pesos about. 
maybe 2,000 plus uh, ringgit. <coughs> Those days, uh, okay. when our money was very strong, right? Malaysian ringgit is very strong. Maybe it's not even $2,000 uh, 30 years ago. <coughs> then, he said, okay. Miraculously, Benny Yin told his mission director, uh, come, come, Mike, come. Then he asked the pastor, how much does this building cost, this whole building? You know? So I think it's quite a lot of money. <laughs> Forgot how much it's, it's a lot of money. Huh? <coughs> maybe uh, 300,000 US dollars. Uh, so maybe 1 million uh, ringgit. <coughs> how much it cost? So then he said, Mike, get the details of the pastor and uh, transfer 300,000 US to buy this whole building. My goodness. And really, they bought the whole building. So, God is the God of impossible. <coughs> you know, when uh, the, I was preaching in the church after that, when he shared this after 30 years, uh, he still, when he shared the testimony with me, he was still shedding tears. In the idea is when God touched you, it could be anything. But why I start with this, uh, this testimony, because many of us need a financial breakthrough. <coughs> it's a, uh, we need healing, we need financial breakthrough, right? And also, a lot of careers have been stopped. Businesses have been closed, you know, in fact, because of this <coughs> pandemic. But uh, our health ministry said the pandemic is over. Right? It's over already. It's endemic now, right? So you imagine, uh, when you pray for something, that to, just to meet this need, but God bless you with abundance, you know. But God give like this, this case, uh, God bless you even more. How on earth that he really, they can imagine that now they own a whole building, right? <clears throat> that tells us, that's why in Matthew 19 verse 26, uh, with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Amen? Uh, we can think what we want to do, what, how we want to do it, you know. But when... God gives you uh, this abundance, this, this uh, blessing. Uh, it's truly like El Shaddai. His name El Shaddai is what? <clears throat> the God that is more than enough. Full of abundance. Amen? So that's why you must believe and have faith for anything. Not only for your health, <clears throat> uh, for your marriage, for your business, right? Everything, you must believe that He's the God of abundance. Amen? He is the El Shaddai. Right? If you look at the universe, uh, you look at our, the, the nine planets, right? Earth. But why, why must God build the whole galaxy, you know? He doesn't have to do that. Uh. He only chose Earth, right? It's enough for him. Uh, around, but because He's the God of abundance, the God that is more than enough, brothers and sisters, okay? <clears throat> so I want to declare this promise of God into your lives. Just raise your hand to receive. Just raise your hand to receive. In Ephesians <coughs> 3 verse 20, this promise is for all of you and for all of us here. God is able. Yeah, you can repeat after me. God is able to bless me and my family exceedingly, exceedingly and abundantly. Above all, above all that I dare think or ask of. By the power, By the power at work in me. Amen. amen. Receive. Amen. Hallelujah. He is able. Yes, clap, uh, give him God all the glory. Amen. <coughs> so, yeah, maybe I want to share with you. As I said, I just came back <coughs> from Manila last night. And, uh, uh maybe I can <laughs> So it, it was, uh, <coughs> you know, in, in uh, Saramban here, does he have full gospel businessmen? You have, huh? Chinese, uh, oh. <coughs> Okay. So in, in Philippines, I was invited. They, they are doing a 40th national convention. 40 years <coughs> there. So I was invited there. And I thought I want to go there also to meet <coughs> the speaker. The speaker is a 
uh, Brother Rod Winter <coughs> is the National Vice Chairman of Full Gospel BS Band in Australia. 75 years old man, <coughs> right? He shared his testimony about missions, how he went to Africa, and even now he's in the, <coughs> uh, they just came from East Malaysia, Sabah, going to the indigenous, uh, this, or I call it those uh, indigenous uh, tribes, you know. So, and there's a, uh, <coughs> even the water they got to drink from the river those days, you know. 30 years ago, he started, okay. <coughs> so, he shared his testimony <coughs> and uh, <coughs> how God led him to write a book now, right. <coughs> so, I was listening and then I was sitting down at my table. <coughs> my table is table seven, <coughs> right. And actually, <coughs> I didn't want to go <coughs> because it's three hours away from Manila. And it's so expensive to arrange transport there and, and come back <coughs> to stay there. The hotel is so expensive. You know, the, if I have to pay a ton of money, I will be staying in a five-star hotel or maybe six-star hotel in, in KL, you know. <coughs> there only three stars you have to pay this type of money because the summer holiday, <coughs> many people go for holiday. Right? It's a free trade zone in Subic. It's like just, um, everything is very cheap, all the branded stuff there, all this. so people will go holidays there. So, <coughs> When they just started the worship, uh, just started the worship, I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow, even right now, I just, just said the word. Wow, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit now. Goosebumps all over me from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. You know? So, <coughs> just the first note <coughs> of worship. <coughs> then I realized that Truly, God inhabits in the praises of His people. He loves us to praise <coughs> and worship Him. Amen? <coughs> you know, so, then I remembered one thing. You know, uh, one of our pastors in, in Glad Tidings, PJ, uh, on to his uh, Reverend Stanley Lim. I don't know whether you heard of him. He was our pastor, then he left and joined <coughs> another church. Then he came back. After 20 years, he came back. So there was a... <coughs> Seminar <coughs> training called uh, I'm sure you know prayer altar. Uh. <coughs> we are talking about prayer altar, your your family prayer altar and uh, corporate altar, like you know, you're doing uh, all this. Uh. So to me, uh, I'm a leader there because uh, this year, January 1st, I'm the overseer and director of Healing Rooms Ministry, Malaysia, after serving for 11 years. So Healing Rooms Ministry belongs to <coughs> uh, John G. Lake Ministry in Spokane, Washington. Right? So, uh, indirectly, that's why God says uh, in uh, <coughs> 1 Corinthians 15, I think 58, it said, our, our, our labor in the Lord is never in vain. Right? Serve 11 years and <coughs> people see your fruits, see your works, you know. Okay. So, I and my wife, Irene, both of us were appointed to take over, right? <coughs> okay. So, I got to go because I'm a leader there, right? I got to go for this, only for leadership, you know. Pastor, so I got to go. And I was thinking in my mind, uh, <coughs> every day we are praying, right? Every day. If you are Christian, you got to pray. Right? <laughs> we pray morning, you pray night, you know. Anything, every any time you can pray, man. <coughs> my wife, she's truly, she prays a lot, uh, more, more than me. Huh? Uh, and uh, in fact, I should say that she prays all the time. Until I tell her, she will tell me that I pray not enough. I didn't speak in tongue enough, you know. Maybe didn't read the Bible enough. I say, I, I pray, you know. Who says I don't pray? I say, not enough. I pray extra already. When I eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, also I pray, right? Besides morning prayer and, and night prayer before I go to bed, right? Five times. Uh, so I joke with her, like, you know. <clears throat> but because of her... Uh, uh, Persistent prayer, time alone with God. Uh, she hears very clearly. We can hear very clearly the voice of God, Holy Spirit speaking to us. You see, so then I told her, every day we are praying. What is this prayer altar? Spend the whole Saturday, you know, morning and then the the afternoon, whole day up to evening, you know. So, but like I say, I got to go. I got no choice. People are looking at us. You see, like I say, uh, <coughs> sometimes how difficult things you want to do, you got to walk the extra mile. 
people are looking at us, not only Christians, but non-believers. Non-believers are looking at us on how our life, whether we are transformed, you know. That will lead them to Christ. <coughs> Amen? <coughs> that will lead them to Christ because when they see your life, they're actually reading a page in the Bible. So I went. You know, I want to tell you something. Last year, November, I went with my wife <coughs> to mission in Philippines. Uh, our, every year we go there because Glad Tidings, we are in I think 16 countries. We support 16 countries <coughs> you know, to maybe let <coughs> lead those pastors go Bible school and all this, plant churches and all this. So we went to Philippines with, and I was holding my wife. <coughs> we are crossing the road. So there's no, <coughs> no traffic. Lah. So I was so excited to cross because all the members cross over already. Right? <coughs> so as I hold her, <coughs> I walk fast. You know, there's a, even the road, lah, <coughs> there's a stand here then then the, huh? the curb like that, a little bit up like that, you know. So I was watching, no car, I ran, I hit the curb, you know. Fell flat down. <coughs> I was still holding my wife, both of us fell flat down. My hand, my left hand there, right hand, she also fell with me. I should have let her go, la. but maybe I love her so much. Huh? <laughs> it, it falls so fall, I still hold <laughs> you, you know, <coughs> You know, I fall. And she also on your right hand, isn't it? Holding hand also fell just like that, you know. Thank God there's no car. <coughs> right? So my 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 hand here, my left hand, <coughs> was in pain. Uh, November, that was November last year. You know, when I rub it, uh, I you feel like this the the, the nerve, the tendon all is so tight, yeah. And I cannot even <coughs> move my <coughs> right thumb. Go to Sinsei, massage in great pain. You know, when you go, <coughs> those, uh, they call Titai Zang or what, uh, they rub for a while, you, you practically tears flow from your eyes, right? <coughs> so it didn't work. <coughs> so she asked me to pray. I said, I have prayed, you know, but it didn't happen. <coughs> so I remembered when I went for the, <coughs> the, the training, that was in February 14 this year. So many months I was suffering, uh, <coughs> 14. I cannot even lift things with my, my left hand, right? So, but it was very good. It shows that, you know, uh, <coughs> Abraham, when he go anywhere, he will make a prayer altar of the stones, then he will do a sacrifice, and he will always come back. You no, know, he shared about the Old Testament, how they made a prayer altar, even <coughs> Jacob. Huh? Jacob, he made a prayer altar in uh, uh, Genesis uh, 28. Huh? Yeah, in 20, he saw the ladder in heaven, right? Going up. So, all these things, it was good. Then link to New Testament. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so, that's why in my heart I was thinking, yeah, okay, we, we learn more Bible verses. Uh, and I love the Word of God, right? <coughs> Afternoon session, we came back. Uh, <coughs> so, how do we <coughs> get into the presence of God? And then in the prayer, too, what you need to do the first thing is to worship. Praise and worship. Yeah? <coughs> Praise and worship. <coughs> You know what happened, brothers and sisters? I've never sang so many songs in my life. You know, seriously, <coughs> normally, just three songs, <laughs> announcement, do all this, right? Then the word, okay? You know what happened that day? <coughs> we sang for more than one hour. So, to me, uh, if I sing five songs, it's a lot already. So, I was struggling. I mean, my wife, Irene, she can sing all the while, right? You know, hours in the room, morning, myself still waiting. I finished already, devotions is still up there. Three hours already, come down. Still waiting for breakfast, you know. Lunch already. <laughs> you get what I mean? So her food is praise and worship and the word. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so I always tell her, you cover for me. You pray more, cover me. You say I don't pray enough. So that's why the Bible says uh, the wife is a help, helper, right? Right, help me, ma, you know. So she got to do. And then you must read <coughs> Proverbs 31, verse 10 onwards. For husbands, you really must read Proverbs 31, verse 10. Huh? A wife of good character. Where to find? Huh? They are more precious than rubies. Then you read onwards. Huh? And the wife do so many things, you know. Wow, the ship come, do trading, so clothes for you in the winter, keep you warm, cook for you, everything. Huh? So I tell her, please go and work. Bring money back to your house. She do everything, all right? But now she's retired. <laughs> and uh, that's also a blessing how, how she 
this year retired, you know. So, <clears throat> and uh, you need to honour your wife. Uh. Husbands, uh, let's clap your hands for the wife. Uh. Husbands, husband. Woman, no to clap. Husband, clap for your wife. Uh. <clears throat> when you read Psalms 31, verse 10, onwards, uh, you think, well, when you, you, you talk about your wife, uh, then you feel it. Uh. Then you also feel you haven't done enough for your wife. <clears throat> you know, certain birthdays you forget. Anniversary, maybe you didn't buy a present. Oh my goodness, I shouldn't say this. Her birthday is May 24th. Few more days. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so <coughs> things like that, you know. But you'll be blessed. You'll definitely be blessed. Huh? Because First Peter 3 7 says, uh, I paraphrase it. If you're not right with your wife, uh, your the man's prayer, husband's prayers will be hindered. Delayed, you know? He delayed, hindered, you know. So wife birthday. Uh, nowadays, yeah, I always say buy diamonds. Eh? Well, diamonds are the girl's best friend, right? But don't worry, now got lab diamond. Cheaper by how many percent? <laughs> Cheaper. Lab grown, huh? wow. Cheaper a lot. Like, if 20,000 original, this 2,000. 10 times. Eh? Yeah, something like that, you know? So, <clears throat> let's clap. Give our hands for our wives. Huh? Let's give another clap offering. And now, I want to say that the wife also must clap for the husband, right? Because we, we, we really go out there, we work, we provide for the family, but by the grace of God. Because I want to declare one word upon your lives. <clears throat> Raise your hand to receive. This is so powerful. In uh, Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, uh, receive it. Raise your hand to receive. Hallelujah. It's the Lord your God who gives you the ability to create wealth. Hallelujah. And when you have received this blessing, do not forget the Lord your God. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Let's clap our hands to our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> so, coming back to... Um, are you still with me? Well, I was sharing the testimony. Then the word of God came. I got to release it upon all of you. Amen. <coughs> okay. So, so, when they start, the first note came out, the music, and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, now again, now. Just now, <laughs> now again, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So then I, I continue to worship and praise. Then we have uh, dinner, right? Dinner before before the, the speaker will share. Suddenly, the Lord asked me to pray for this lady. I was on table seven. Oh, <coughs> pray for the lady. So I was thinking, I don't know her, no. I, sister, I want to pray for you. I know. <clears throat> then, but when you hear from God, uh, pray for that lady. Uh, you just got to do it. Whatever it is, uh, the Lord also will prepare the person. <clears throat> the Lord prepare a person. <clears throat> and then I told her, my sister, I want to pray for you. Huh? I think you have a spinal cord issue, backbone pain and all this issue, correct? Or not? She immediately ran over to, to me here. No? Because in uh, 2017, she was exercising weights. Uh, she got a slip disc. She's not very young. She's not young. Slip disc, and the doctor said there's no cure. Maybe Doctor Kwan can. Uh. Slip disc cannot. Uh. <laughs> slip disc. Doctor said no cure. <clears throat> Unless you do an operation, maybe put some clamping or screws. Uh. but for age, it's dangerous. You could be paralyzed. So two zero one seven up to now, <clears throat> six years you've been suffering. You know. So when I said that, you see, sometimes God give you this discernment. Now, when God tells you something, you just got to ask, I ask, then give you discernment, then she came. <coughs> so, when a person got a sleep this, uh, or woman who gave birth, or man, 100%, uh, and I dare to say that, 100% want the leg is shorter one. So, do not be afraid, you know. If, if, if you see, <coughs> okay, let's say now, you go to a shopping complex, uh, right? You see this uh, husband and wife got five children. 100% the wife got back pain. One leg is short. So you, now you must have boldness and courage. Oh, auntie, I want to pray for you. One leg is short. That's why you got back pain. <laughs> you know? But we got everything is possible. <coughs> so she came, <coughs> her leg was shorter. Immediately, not even three seconds. One, two, three. <coughs> the, her right leg extended. And she can feel the leg, the, the, the bone coming up, you know. 
And then she started to, she, wow, to turn. But she cannot do, bend down and touch. Just tears flowing out. Tears flowing out from, <coughs> from, from her eyes. You, know. you see, six years, imagine six years suffering. So, and then another lady saw this. She got a uh, fourth stage cancer. The womb removed, but the cancer came back. The cancer came back, it's spreading. Yeah. Then I, I prayed for her. I said, don't, no, don't stand, sit down. Because if you stand, I'm not the speaker, right? I'm here to visit. The speaker is just speaking, you ask him to pray. There'll be a commotion, you no, know, if you just slain there. And then all people, I, and I don't want this type of a thing, you know. I just sit down. Because if you're going to stand, you're going to fall down. You know, we must respect the meeting. Uh, uh, but you still need to pray, right? <clears throat> so, pray for her. She said for the first time, she felt the fire of God, the fire of the Holy Spirit burning the whole body. And then she said, I don't know why, I, she was practically slain on the chair, just like that, the whole world, you know. And when she, she said, she felt the, the, the area, the stomach, all full of fire. So, brothers and sisters, what I want to share with you here is, sometimes how difficult <coughs> the thing is, uh, got to go three hours away from Manila, got to pay all this money, you know, which I'm not willing to, right? But I tell you, when God sent you there for this purpose, He will make a way. He will make a way, you know how? <clears throat> Suddenly, I called my lawyer. Our, our, he was the former National Secretary of FGB there, but he, he resigned because, you know, in any organization, some people like you, some people don't like you, huh? until you get fed up, <clears throat> you resign, <clears throat> right? So I call him. Oh, I said, your friend, Brother Rob Winter is coming, you know. You're not going there. Huh? I said, so actually, he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. And uh, he says, uh, oh, okay, I, 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 are, you, are you going? He asked me this question. <clears throat> I said, I cannot go. I'm going to, all oh, this is how to arrange. I go there, how I want to come back, you know. And I'm going to fly back. So then he says, he just got this in a small voice that he got to go. He said, brother, come, I, I fetch you there. You know, because what he felt in his spirit is, if he don't fetch me there, if he fetch me there, he, he told me as we are going three, three hours, uh, he got to fetch me there because when he fetch me there, some people will be blessed. So I asked him, how do you know? <laughs> I said, I, mean, I don't know, right? How do you know? <clears throat> I just felt it in my spirit, like the Holy Spirit talking to me, telling me, you see. So you see, I don't have to pay anything for the hotel. I don't have to arrange uh, uh, to take a, a, a <coughs> van or, or a cab there. It's going to cost a lot of money, you know. Just imagine. And I had good food there. And I see the miracles the Lord is going to do. So, brothers and sisters, that's why all this, uh, if the, my lawyer friend <coughs> doesn't feel that he, but, and he's also very prayerful. He speak in tongue all the while in the car. He speak in tongue because he said he don't know how to speak so many words. Uh. Sometimes it's difficult. Uh. When you, you use words to, to pray, uh, you get very dry. Huh? So, so, I don't know how my wife do three hours up there. I also don't know in the room. <laughs> so, he rather just speak in tongue. Yeah? But speak in tongue will change your life. I'm telling you, <coughs> If every day you speak in tongue, you start first. Maybe, actually five minutes is very long, right? Five minutes, slowly you, you go up, you know, okay. <clears throat> so what I want to share this testimony, you must walk the extra mile for God. You, you really got to do it and only way is you got to hear the voice of God, amen? Inside a, a small, still voice or sometimes audible voice, you know. But for me, <clears throat> I hear at 4 a.m., if God wants to tell me something important, always at 4 a.m. And it's very loud one. That even though I'm sleeping, I will just jump up from the bed. Jump up from the bed, you know. Uh, it's not like your wife wants to wake you up. Dear, you're going to wake up. We're going to church. Saramban Life Assembly a bit late. Oh, wait lah, too late. I said I came back very late. You came back also very late. We slept at 2 o'clock. Not like that. Huh? I was late for 10 minutes because of this. It's not like that. <coughs> one word. And you just get up, you know. 
so, brothers and sisters, to having a time alone with God, uh, we, uh, praise and worship Him, right? reading the Word of God, speaking in tongue, you know, and when you sing, uh, you will feel His presence, one, definitely, right? So that's how you want to hear the voice of God. It is, uh, sometimes it might be, how to say, you feel like every day you are doing it, it's like a C-H-O-R-E, how you pronounce C-H-O-R-E Core uh, Like chore, you know, every day you're doing it <coughs> Very dry, you know Every day you pray the blood of Jesus over you and your family uh, Like every day we pray the full armour of God of our bodies Every day you pray Psalms 91, right? But I tell you When you quote the word of God You pray using the word of God It is so powerful <coughs> It is very, very powerful, right? So that is how you can hear the voice of God, right? And if you are, it doesn't, you, you can choose morning, <coughs> you can choose night, you know, depends. And, and any time of the day, right? But uh, for me, morning is better. <coughs> morning person. Uh. You know, in Acts chapter 2, uh, how the church started, right? <coughs> Acts chapter 2, uh, the 120 disciples were in the upper room, right? And, uh, I think verse 2, 3, and 4, it says, suddenly, a rushing violent wind, no? loud wind came in, right? Came in, and then tongues of fire appeared. And resting on every 120 disciples there, 120 of them received a tongue of fire. And when they received the Holy Spirit, which, which was promised by Lord Jesus Christ, right? In Acts 1, verse 8, Jesus says, do not leave Jerusalem. Uh, in a few days, right, you will receive what my Father has promised, right? the Holy Spirit. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. And then he says, Acts 1.8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. And to be my witnesses in all Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you cannot be a strong witness because that's what Jesus said. Then only you can be my witnesses for Him. So when you have the power of the Holy Spirit, signs, wonders and miracles will accompany you. All you need is to step forward to be bold and courageous to do it. We already have the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit that Jesus has is there's no junior Holy Spirit, only one Holy Spirit, correct? We are so blessed if you compare, okay, if you compare the Old Testament, huh? the Old Testament people like uh, a uh, Abraham, you know, uh, only a few. Okay, Old Testament, the kings and the prophet, there's only one prophet, one, normally one prophet at a time, right? And then the Holy Spirit touched them, then they have. Not all the people. But now because of what Jesus has done on the cross for us, is sacrifice, correct? We, are, we have a new covenant. Holy Spirit lives in us. <coughs> not in a temple, not in a church. In us, we are the temple of God. 1 Corinthians 3.16 1 Corinthians uh, 6.19 says, uh, <coughs> we, our body is the temple of God where the Spirit of God dwells in us. <coughs> the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Our bodies does not belong to ourselves. It's bought at a price. Huh? The death, the horrific death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? So we need to have this close relationship. When, when you realize, that's why when you see the passion of Christ, uh, when you see th that movie, you really cry on. How you can just imagine how Jesus suffered for us, correct? Amen. <coughs> so what I say is hear the voice of God is very important in your life, right? To having this time alone with God. And uh, yeah, in Acts chapter 2, <coughs> it says, then what happened to the 120 disciples? <laughs> All of them <coughs> spoke in tongues, right? Spoke in tongues. And God chose the Pentecost day that everybody come from all the country, everywhere <coughs> to, to Jerusalem. And they hear <coughs> their tongues, right? And then <coughs> they said, how come we are hearing them glorifying God in our language? These uh, ga Galileans, right? And then <coughs> some of them say what? <coughs> oh, they are drunk with wine. They are drunk. Be mine, right? 
What did Peter say? He says, it is only 9 a.m. It is not drunk in wine, but what the prophet Joel has said in Acts 2 verse 17. Huh? In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people, huh? on my servants, men and women. He'll pour out his spirit, <coughs> right? He says, uh, uh, your, young, your children will see visions, huh? and uh, my, my son, old men will dream dreams, right? And who will prophesy? I don't know you, but prophesy also. X, yeah, prophesy. So you see, it's 9 a.m. So for me, morning, because it says it's 9 a.m., so 9 a.m., but before that, it could be, they started at, I don't know, 7 or what, you know? So that's why we want to be a morning person. Now <clears throat> we can choose, but you can choose. Sometimes you've got to go to work, you know, or, or at night, so you can choose when to have this time alone with God so that you are so intimate with our Lord Jesus Christ that you can hear His voice. It might not be an audible voice, but it also be in an inner still voice, right? And also, you can hear from Him. Through, when you read the Bible, sometimes the word just come up. That is God speaking to you. Also to people. <coughs> it might somebody come and tell you, uh, Sister, what, I want to, God asked me to share with you this thing, right? You know, things like that. God can use <coughs> many avenues to speak to you, even, even a person, right? So that's why I want to encourage you <coughs> on this, to go the extra mile for God and also uh, have this time alone <coughs> so, so, uh, so that the uh, pastor yeah, about what? Uh, okay. So brothers and sisters, <coughs> of course, you understand that is in the Lord's heart. Uh. You look at His ministry. Uh. All about healing and deliverance one, right? He goes anywhere. <coughs> huh? In Matthew 9, 35, 36. He goes to all the villages, all the synagogues, right? What did He do? <coughs> huh? He teach, He proclaimed the kingdom of God. He teach the word of God, right? <coughs> and then after that, He healed the sick. So it's imperative uh, that you must know the Word of God. He, he will teach the Word of God, no? proclaim the kingdom of God, then only he do the healing. Then whoever will come to him, we are healed. Amen? Everyone who come to Jesus will be healed. Amen? So, but you must have this faith, you know. You must have this faith to receive. It's not only for healing anything in your life. If you notice, <clears throat> uh, Matthew 9, 27 to 29. About the blind man. How the blind, blind man came to Jesus, you know. And uh, Jesus asked, what do you want me to do for you? Of course, he knows that he's blind, right? He says, I want to see. The Bible says, I want to see. And then he inspired faith in this man when he says, do you believe I can do this for you? And the blind man says, yes, I believe. Then what Jesus said? According to your faith, let it be done to you. Amen. So it's all about faith. Ephesians 2 verse 8 says the same thing. We are saved by grace through faith. Not by our works so that no one can boast. Amen. For faith is very important. John G. Lake says this thing. He says, uh, it is difficult to exercise our faith huh? for what we believe that is impossible. Correct or not? In your heart, in your spirit, man, <coughs> you also think that it is impossible already. So how do, can you exercise your faith? Right? <coughs> you exercise your faith through the Word of God. For Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Huh? And the Word of God Jesus is the Word of God. John 1, 1 says very clearly, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is God. Amen? Even in John 1, 18, it says that Jesus is God. 1, 18. Right? <coughs> so, brothers and sisters, you must exercise your faith. Today, this, uh, <coughs> this morning, <coughs> and, um, 
Whatever you are going through, huh? if, if you are sick in your body, exercise your faith to believe. Right? You, you can raise your hand. You want the uh, Lord to touch you. You want to pray. Yes, if you want a miracle, you're sick in your body, just raise your hand to our Lord Jesus Christ. Raise your hand to Him. Tell Him what you want Him to do for you. Right? You want to pray. Hallelujah. If you need anything, maybe it's for your children, you know, relationship problems, your family, just close your eyes <coughs> and tell our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll pray right now. <coughs> okay? Close your eyes and tell Him what you want. Your Father in heaven just wants you to speak to Him from your heart. <coughs> I want to declare, Lord, you see your children, your sons and daughters right now. They have needs, O oh Lord. Be it in their physical body, their health issues, O oh Lord. <coughs> be it in their marriage, even relationship problems. <coughs> even, Lord, some of them might be persecuted in the workplace, uh, in their business. Even friends that they think, some of you here, even you feel that your friends also talk bad behind your back, you know. I don't know who is that person. Raise your hand high. That, yeah, they, they speak bad of you in your workplace or what, you know, that you feel so sad of all the person why this one, so hard for you to forgive them, right? <clears throat> and even, so you go through financial difficulties, right, that you, you don't know what to do. But I've declared upon your life, that God will give you this ability to create wealth, new business and initiative, right? So you need a financial breakthrough. You need some wisdom for new things in your life to do a business or something. If you are that person, raise your hand. Raise your hand higher. I can see. Yes. Yes. And uh, even right now, I want to speak into your life. Just close your eyes and tell him what you want. The Lord says, Wow. In John 14, 13 to 14, He says, You can ask in my name. And I will do it so that the Father will be glorified by the Son. And in John 14, verse 14, Jesus say, you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. Why he wants to do it? He sees your hands raised up. He sees your hurt. Even sees your tears, your pain, your suffering, your sorrow. And our Lord Jesus Christ, He is not happy to see the devil attacking his children because everything he has done it is finished when he says in John 19 verse 30 it is finished the devil is defeated already and we are not a victim we are victors brothers and sisters we are moving from victory to victory that the Lord has already given us we are moving from glory to glory, strength to strength, because of what our Lord Jesus has given us. He has given us, He has said in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57, Thanks be to God who always gives us the victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That means as a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ, the victory is ours already. Do not have this victim mentality anymore. Just ask Him. Remember John 14, verse 14. As you are asking Him right now, you are asking because of this victory that He has given you. Whatever trials you are going through, it will lead to triumph. Remember that. And even 
today, this week, today is start. When God says, Jesus said in John 14 verse 14, He's giving you an open invitation. Ask anything in His name, He will do it. And He got to do it because He will never fail in His promises. And I declare, 2 Corinthians 1.20, it says, for all the promises of God for your lives, we say the yes to Him. And Amen. Yes is yes and amen. All you need is to claim it. So this over, open invitation for you this morning, John 14 verse 14. So ask, because in John 16 <coughs> verse 24, this is his tell his disciples. Up to now, you have not asked me for anything. Right? But ask so that your joy will be full. When God will come to pass everything that you ask, right today, remember this 21st May, what? 2023. When you ask right now, it will come to pass. That is the message I want to share with all of you. Write it down in your journal. What you ask today. Those friends who have persecuted you, talk bad about you, they will come and apologize to you. They will come to ask you for forgiveness. People who abuse you, cheated you in your business, even when you land, they never pay back. They will pay back. Because Jesus has promised in Joel 2.25, I don't know, whatever the locust has taken from your life, eaten, huh? the young locust, great locust, Jesus say, I will pay you back so that people will know my people will not be put to shame and people will know that He is the Lord your God who has blessed you. In all this abundance, all these miracles, your health healing that you receive today, not tomorrow, not next month or one year, today when you journal it down, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Because His name, in Philippians 2, 9 and 10, <clears throat> God gave Him a name that is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, Every knee must bow. <clears throat> Be it things in heaven, on the earth and under the earth. Every tongue confess Jesus is Lord. I declare, decree right now, that at the name of Jesus, every spirit of infirmity <clears throat> that is causing sickness in your body, every spirit of hindrance, delay that is in your life will be broken will be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost that is in you. Hallelujah. And Lord, release right now the fire of the Holy Spirit. Raise your hand to receive the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn and destroy every spirit of infirmity that's all causing all these issues and problems in your life in the name of Jesus. And I declare by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed in Jesus' name. Receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If there's any body part that you require that is sick, Lord, I declare that you release your creative miracle angels to bring down from your storehouse in heaven the body part for your children here right now in the name of Jesus. If there's any heart, uh, high blood pressure, yes, blood pressure, Right now, hypertension. Lord, in the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Blood sugar, blood sugar, restored, be normal in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give you praise, we give you thanks, oh Lord, that everything your children ask for today will come to pass, oh Lord. And we we'll give you all the praise and all the glory. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister, you have asked, you have asked, right? Brother, you have asked, right? God sees your tears. God sees what you're going through, right? And journal down what you asked today and you'll see it come to pass, right? <clears throat> Where are your parents? Huh? What? They are not what? Not together, yeah. Why, why I tell you this? Come here, come here. There, there. This, this pain. You see, this pain that you are going through, huh? God knows. But He will, I don't know how long they have been separated or not, not together or what. But sometimes it's God's will, well, you leave it, right? But today, the God is going to be, the Lord is going to take away all this pain. Huh? Uh, anyone else can just come, you know, come, come, come. You need a prayer, come. Yeah, anyone of you have not known Jesus yet, have not received salvation, that you are not in Christ. All, all are safe, Pastor. All, huh? I want to tell you this for all of us. Uh. <clears throat> Psalms 56, verse 8. The word of God says what? Huh? You know, whenever you shed a tear, you might have relationship problems with your husband or, or children. Uh. Then you cry, right? But your tears will not fall to the ground. <clears throat> because Psalms 56, verse 8 says, I have collected all your tears in my bottle. You know, that's how much God loves all of us. In heaven, there's a bottle with your name, sister. Your name because you know. Now you shed a tear. He asked his angel to come. Yes, come here, sister. Come, come. Huh? He, the angel, of the Lord, with your name. What's your name? Huh? Epsiba. What's your name? Anita. The bottle has Anita on it. Epsiba on it, and collect your tears. And then the word of God says, "I have recorded." All your sorrows <clears throat> He knows All your sorrows All your pain Whatever you are going through Yes, come here, come you have, you have, He, he records And then he says I have written it all down Imagine God Himself write down Everything that you are going through Everything that you are going through He write it down I have written it all down in my book So that means Your life Anita And Seba All of you There's a book in heaven Your name is there Just imagine Your whole life Everything is written down What you're going through Amen Hallelujah Yes Close your eyes Raise your hand Just pray in your heart To have a What you want the Lord To do for you Lord take away have Siba's pain right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Anoint your head with oil. Oh, Rabba, Fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn and destroy. Breathe into your nose. Open your mouth, blow out. Open your mouth, blow. Yeah. Blow out. Every infirmity, get out right now in the name of Jesus. Breathe in, blow out. Lord, restore. Take away all these hurts and pain right now. Restore all the hurts in Jesus' name. Feel her. Anyone can speak in tongue? Just speak in tongue. Yeah, speak in tongue. You know, speak in tongue. Oh, Rabba Shikata Rabba Yande. Oh, Rabba Shikara Basikere Bas. In the name of Jesus. Kurianda Rabba Sokaraba. Fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Be released. Be healed in Jesus' name. Fire the Holy Spirit. Fire! Go! Oh, Rav Satataya! Anything? Spirit of infirmity? Leave! Get out in Jesus' name! Oh, Rosokotoro Moshakate! Masada Rabba Baba Baba! Fire! Fire! Flow!
Let me tell you this. Right now, this colon cancer, I've seen so many healings. Right? I prayed for someone. Suddenly, he said, He doesn't belong to you because he's not in Christ. So, that means that the enemy, now she's speaking, you, you don't belong to the kingdom of God, right? So, how are you going to receive? Of course, God can, but most important is salvation. Salvation, your name written in the book of life in heaven. Now you accept Christ. Luke 15 verse 10 says what? All the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you come back to the Father. There's a book of life, your name is written there. Okay. Raise your hand. Follow my prayer. Clear. To tell the devil, I belong to Jesus, okay? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sign the cross for me. Your precious blood. Your precious blood. Shed for me. Shed for me. Has cleansed me. Has cleansed me. Wash me. Wash me. Sanctify me. Sanctify me. From all my sins. All my sins. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Come into my life. I accept you. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. Thank you. For my salvation. And eternal life. And eternal life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's, see, let's get our hands. One soul is so important. You know why? You are safe. Wow. Michaelim salvation Brothers and sisters right Those who need prayer Come this. forward Otherwise the meeting Get is over right now In the name of May Jesus. the love of God Grace the of Christ And fellowship Of the Holy Spirit with you Burn and destroy And do live quietly Of cancer And uh, come back again Next Sunday Get out for the night And come to with God's man God bless everyone Breathe into your nose Yeah, fellowship uh, Over the food right. Outside Outside Yeah, Out be, the door, yeah. Uh, right. Greet oh. each other With shalom Amen God Leave. bless Leave right now Verse 18, whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever I loose on earth. 